All right, howdy everybody. Right now, for us, it's Memorial Day. I'm trying to get these bitches up. Uh, I wanted to say uh, thanks for uh, fallen soldiers and everything that's fought and died to give us our freedoms that we got today in this country. Thank you guys uh, for everything. Uh, now, uh, before I get into video, uh, we have had a, uh, a, uh, some goodies sent. And we're going to open it up and see what it is. If I can find my trustworthy knife. Come here, you. And I think I got a pretty good hunch of what it is. <laughs> well. Well. Here we go. Oh yeah, boy. Look at here. We get, okay, here we are. <laughs> this says, Logger Wade, this is the axe I told you I would build out for you. Hope you like it. Put it to good use, Ed Stevens. Thank you, buddy. That is awesome. I think you actually asked me. He actually asked me, he said, well, how, 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 what kind of axe would you like? And I, 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 he said, if somebody was to give you, I said, I don't care. I said, just the fact that somebody would do that for me is it is enough for me. I don't care what it is. That's great, buddy. Oh, wow. Look at the handle. That is cool. Look at the handle. Damn, is that oak? That ain't hickory. That looks like an oak handle. Huh. Let's see what kind of head it's got. Is that an ash handle? Surely it's an ash handle. Has to be an ash handle. I can't tell. It feels like an ash handle. That is a... That is a beastly looking unit. Look at that. Huh? Come on now. Look at that. Look at the uh, the doodads here. I've never seen that, really. But, oh, it's sharp enough to shave with, too. I promise you. Wow. Well, boys... I ain't never going to use this. I don't think I can. I mean, it's too nice of a daggone. Thank you. Thank you, Bubba. I swear that's an old candle. Thank you, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. That is cool. Look at that, would you? It's about the right length, too. Boy, it'd be a good wedge driver. Huh. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate it. I'll send you some goodies back. That that is that was too much, bub. That was one of the best. That was one of the best gifts I think I've ever got on here. That is awesome, man. Just send it to me. Thank you, man. That is awesome. All right, I'll quit gloating over that. This is freaking awesome. I love it. Look how he done that. The wedge is in the end of it. Can you focus in on that camera? It's pretty cool. I got them in there deep too. Looky, looky, mama's getting new toys. That's a new hood for uh, Morgan's truck. Oh, it looks good to all. Oh. It's just all oh, cool. It's a new Pete hood for 378. And 378 hoods ain't hardly out there. You can't not never. You can't not never find them. Not never. Huh? Huh? Well, it looks good. I don't know what they got in it. It ain't bad either. It's like 1600 or something like that. Ain't that bad? Ain't near what you think a hood would be. 
But his is busted all two smithereens. Uh, Jeff been working on it. Yeah, it's just a false cause. Every time you patch it, the son of a buck just busts back up. It's been, it's lived a rough life, so it's time. And, and, and things are getting squared away around here anymore, so Mama's trying to help us uh, fix these trucks up a little bit, make them look better, be better. Mechanically, our trucks are great. Aesthetically, It's cracked and busted, I ain't even getting out, but it's cracked and busted all over. It just rat shakes like a rotten dish rag. But it's got all that good aluminum and stuff on it. We'll just pop the rivets out of all it, and move the grill over to the new one. All right, howdy everybody. It's Saturday on Memorial Weekend. We are uh, doing tire day. I didn't want to get in any welding or nothing this weekend. I got plenty to do. Uh, I wanted us to hang loose, stay mediocre clean. Uh, cause mama probably gonna give me run mulch or something, uh, this afternoon. Got some dealers going good this Memorial Day weekend. Want to take advantage of it. Uh, our mulch is quality. We got good quality colored mulch and it's starting. It's just starting. It's, we, we really worked on our quality hard the past two years. Uh, it's got tighter in the mulch business around here. And we, we had decent mulch to start with. We had good Becker Underwood colorant, the top notch colorant, but my screen size, my particle sizes wasn't quite right and wasn't quite uniform. And I've been working on it. Of course, that's the hard part, you know, crawling in them hogs and getting them things right and working on your screens and everything and getting on top of them and your wear and your, you know, your surfacing and stuff. And, but I went in there and we got hard headed and done it. And, and it's starting, it just started paying off this, this about the middle of this mulch season. We, 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 for the past two years, probably our good quality mulch has been there. And the colorant's top notch, piece size, particle size is top notch. And now it's starting to, and our base product, it's all virgin hardwood material for the most part, with a little bit of pine from time to time, but it's all good. I already put some tires on the low boy. And I wanted to show you all this. And, and an old boy asked me, uh, I forgot his name already. My daggone tars kicked in, but, uh, yesterday had a awesome little family come in here this old boy's trying to get an equipment operating and he dropped a a uh that going uh a doodad down there at evansville uh try to get a job so he wanted to come up and see 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 us so and then he gets to ask me about blackie of course i love my bird you know so he gets to ask me questions about blackie and he'd been keeping up on the veggies and and uh he'd ask me about this rear end job well well, here's what the, here's what actually happened. Now the rear ends was loud when I got it. It's full of metal. Uh, the rear ends was, but I had this every 300 feet or so going down interstate. This truck would jump it's like something major is going on, and I locked my power divider in, uh. and it'd be fine. Well, I knew it was power divider related, but after we got all said and done, this is what we finally figured out after we done throw money at the problem. These front tires are taller than the back tires, which ain't an issue. It's an issue that never showed up because I always kept my tires rotated. I always keep my road tires rotated. That's why I was taught. But here was why it mattered. You know, the experienced truck driver's going, so here's why it mattered. Somebody had this switch hooked up backwards. I got it hooked up right now, but before I unhooked the alarm in here for now, but before the alarm would click when the power divider's locked in. So I ran all the time with it over here and it's actually in. Whereas before I put a little sticky tape over it till I fix the switch, see? See there? But so actually the way the truck was is you'd run the truck around the power divider and I've run this truck for years, the power divider and didn't know it. You'd flip it over here and it beep, 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 you know, it's set up on a long, you know. So anyways, I'd have it like that. Well, it wasn't an issue with my rear ends because I always kept my tires rotated. Well, Larry's tires ain't been rotated. So the front axle, your, your back axle always wears in these trucks. You, you, you rub off the rubber on the back axle. That's just how these trucks are. So the front axle and the back axle didn't match up in our in radius. So here I am, when I go down when I go down the road empty, it wouldn't bother it. 
But when I get loaded up heavy and go down the interstate, about every 300 feet it'd jump. The truck would, well, what it was is that power divider in there finally load up and jump a cog to relieve the pressure. So we put the new, new, I, the new unit in and it didn't do it. But I got stuck one day and I was spinning. I was like, why am I spinning one hub again? I got a brand new power divider in there and I flipped the switch. The op I turned the switch where it was, I thought it was out. And the truck started spinning two hubs. And I was like, wait a minute. And you flip it this way, and it, which it don't work with the buttons pulled out. But you, the air would escape when you put it over here to where it said. So it was a, basically, that was my problem. What I'm getting ready to do now, but I just want to share out to everybody. The ones of you that's wanting to know what, what happened there, that's actually in the hindsight, Professor Hindsight here, that's what happened. But I'm going to take these tires and put them in the back. So I start chewing on these and start easing up on these. And that's going to make all the difference. So here we go. We got our wheels done, got them rotated, got them shined up and stuff, they look good. Old black sheet shining like a Georgia peach. But we gotta run this late load of mulch. Jack Jack is going with daddy. You should have seen them babies working on that truck. They would see dad going cute. Them daddy boys, Calvin Malvin, was in a season lug nuts. Oh, and Levi Peabody was doing Freaking, uh, uh, what you call them? And, uh, yeah. And Jackson, he was just rubbing on the paint. He was just happy to be worth rubbing on the paint. So here we go. We're going to clean this out. We got to clean this. Chips out before we can take off. We haul this stuff up to the, uh, they're hauling these trailers too. Mama was a chill hippie. Raise hell and eat cornbread. The boys around here, where they're sunburnt and they're corn fed. 
All right, scoozy. Let me put this in front of y'all, man. Yeah, baby. Oh, good times. And all I can think about is Memorial Weekend. All I can think about is getting me a brewski. To all the veterans that watch Logger Way, thank you guys for all freedom. All I can think about all the time is, you know, think about these other countries and these people, poor saps, they ain't got a chance to be productive and make a future for themselves. Thanks to you guys, we got the ability to do that here. Thanks everybody. Appreciate it. So gotta do my old aluminum up front. We look at the back of black. Pow! I thought about getting West Coast and Crane Man right there. But I don't know if be getting too tacky or what. But I'm gonna start putting two top crane stickers. Oh, it's West Coast stickers in places and Stevie. Pippy Pants got Bill Old Belt stickers and there's Nutsy 319. This time, the last time I didn't roll like that, rolled it up in here. And I thought, well, I'll get a tarp strap. Well, I forgot to get a tarp strap. That happened. All right, let's get rolling. Me and Jack Jacks made it back. Yep, but Wary and Wee Wai made it back earlier. They went to Hip Nursery and we went to HN Market. Mm -hmm. But that ain't er that ain't everything. We made some me and Jack Jack made some extra parts on the way. Look at there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah boy, about 60 mile an hour. Boom! She come up. I heard I heard it fly out. I looked at it, it flew out from under the truck. I thought, Dad, gum bless America. So, that's my Memorial Day weekend celebration. I'm gonna wait till next week and get my parts. Uh, and all of you that wants to, anybody on here that wants the dog in the longer way, this has not nothing to do with our previous deal. And I'll tell you what happened. When we put that shaft back in, well, betwixt me and Derek and Robin, all three of us is just running through the shop once in a while, throwing some parts on as we and, got them. And, we got and uh, some. that wasn't probably wasn't the best way to work on a truck. And we got some cookies. But we work on a lot of trucks that way. Yeah, and Jack Jack got some cookies gave to him while he's up there. And I'll tell you what happened. When I tighten, where's that cat? When I tighten this one caps down, that ain't this one, it's a different one. When I tighten one of these caps down, I thought that the cap was bowed. And look, you can see it. I knew it. I'll tell you what happened. The needle come apart in there when we put it together. And it got sandwiched in there. See how it's been a... So what happens in this joint right here that rubbing and that extra pressure because when I tighten it down it bowed this cap tightening down on it and it and it got built up heat from that pressure in there from the needle being smashed in there and it finally burnt the grease out of it and then once it got dry then she really started cooking and then she come apart because I thought I thought that gonna have that happen I know we greased it then I got to thinking about that cap and I knew when I tightened the cap <laughs> I knew when we tightened the cap down, I knew something didn't seem right. Yep, yep. That's what you get from me in this pass. So, so bad tater. Here you go, Jack Jack. Look at that. Look at that baby. Tear by height. Say hi. Poopy. Don't say poopy on that. Jackson, he's a bad baby. I think I'm gonna have to. Dump him off with you guys. Well, get in there and get it. What'd you get out of the truck without getting it for, boy? Listen, your daddy, boy. Listen, your daddy, boy. Got a little, got a little butt crack going down there. There. Get in there and get your, get your iPad. <laughs> he got some plumber's crack going. 
Get it? Getting sidetracked? You getting sidetracked. Yeah. Oh, roll it up. Did you roll yours up? I'll go roll yours up. You got that one. Don't fall. The wheels look good though. The one is eating parts. That looked pretty good. I tell you, trucks, 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 trucks. I love trucks. Grew up around trucks and I love them. But they don't forgive you when you make a mistake. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Trucks do not forgive you. I'll tell you why. Because they weigh half what they should. <laughs> That's why.